Stroud Auction's 4th March 2021 sale has guns in it. Gun expert Diggory Haydoke of VintageGuns.co.uk chooses his favourite lot from the auction. Stroud's one of those little auction rooms that has various things uh, lined up, and sporting guns among them, but uh, bed knobs, broomsticks, everything else you can possibly think of. Um, and it's one of those funny provincial auctions which in the old days would have been um, overlooked by people like me because we... We focus on Holtz, we focus on Gavin Gardner and Bonhams and places that are packed with sporting guns. But sometimes um, you find something in there that's quite interesting. We've got a John Dixon, that's a D-I-C-K-S-O-N, although they've spelt it wrong and spelt it D-I-X-O-N, which won't help you with your searches. It's a muzzle loader built in 1853 and it's priced at five to eight hundred pounds which I think is, is a little bit on the low side. Uh, the gun looks to me um, to be a little bit of a sleeper. You know, it's got all the things that we look for. The wood is proud of metal. It doesn't look like it's been um, messed around too much by country gunsmiths during its life. It's in a box with some uh, accessories and what appears to be a, a, a correct Dixon trade label. It, it's had a life, it's not in perfect condition, but it's in good looking condition. And, uh, and I think could be, a, could be a gun to go for. I'm not the only person that's seen this. If you look at the sale room, it gives you a, a tally of guns, of things that you're watching. And it also tells you who else is watching it. And we've got about 35 people currently keeping an eye on this one. <laughs> so it might not go for as low as the guy price suggests. Now tell me, uh, why, would I, why would I, a sporting shot, want to buy a muzzle loader? What, what would I be doing with it? Well, the beauty of these things, um, percussion muzzle loaders, is that you can collect them without a license. So a lot of us like to have nice old guns kicking around the place. And in the old days, we could do exactly that. But these days, um, even if you've got a gun which is you know, not really safe to shoot, it's a bit worn out, it looks nice, you can't hang it on the wall. You have to put it in your, in your safe with all your other shotguns because legally, it's a section to shotgun and needs to be treated as such. Um, whereas things like pin fires, muzzle loaders, you can actually hang them on the wall and enjoy them as decorative objects, as well as, um, as investments and um, all the other things that people collect for. Would it be possible to shoot it? I think with all of these things, you need to get either be it, have the kit to check the uh, condition of the barrels yourself, which means measuring them, not just looking at them, um, or take them to a gunsmith who can do that properly. Um, until you know exactly what the barrels are like in terms of bore size, thickness and condition, you can't know whether this is going to be shootable. Um, a lot of them are, and a lot of people do shoot them. Uh, there are clubs out there who, um, who, who are keen advocates of, uh, of muzzle loading, and these old chaps that run these clubs will bore you to death with every possible thing that you could ever want to know, and more besides if this is what you want to do. But of course, to shoot one of these, you need black powder. And to have black powder, you need an explosive license and you need to be able to store it properly and you need to learn how to load it safely. And you can't just whack a random amount of powder down the, down the muzzles, stick in a wad, a bit of shot and hope that it goes bang safely. You do need to learn how to do it properly.